Kiaudi. Today, we're looking at the Kuva Heck. It is very juicy. The Heck was one of my favorite weapons as a low mastery rank player, the Vapor Heck specifically. Now, this weapon hasn't been directly buffed such er, as the weapon itself, but it has been buffed in the past update when Tenet Glaxion and Kuva Sobek came out. So, we'll get to that in just a second. First, we're going to want to look at the stats. I have a progenitor of 56.3% toxin. Toxin is what I would recommend because Slash is quite strong in this, but you can go other elements. I do actually like a gas. I love using it as a gas weapon against liches. It is quite strong. If you want a weapon for killing liches, like you're farming liches, this weapon is probably the best weapon in the entire game for one-shotting liches. Without it even leveled up all the way in three empty mod slots, I was able to one-shot a level four lich. That's kind of insane. Quite strong. So, 2.17 fire rate, seven base multi-shot, mag of four. It's got, okay, accuracy, 0.3 base punch through. That's pretty much worthless. It's almost like it doesn't even have punch through. Very low range compared to other newer shotguns. It only has 15 to 30 meters for the fall off. 23% crit chance, 2.1 multiplier, 13.3% status per projectile. Though I swear on my life, I swear to fucking God that it's not 13.3%. With 7 multi-shot, and when you build into status and how high the multi-shot gets, I, I get almost no status procs for how high the multi-shot in status is. I, I don't know what it is, maybe I'm just schizo, but something about that's pretty, it seems like it's off. Anyways, though, it's got 13.1, 56.5, and 17.4 slash, respectively, for each stats. It is obviously punctuated, and 609 total damage. So, I actually, oh, I don't have the Vapor Heck anymore. It's much better than the Vapor Heck, though. Trust me, trust me. And then, well, you know, once you take the Progenitor into account, the 609 can actually get up to almost 1,000 base damage, which is quite strong. It does have a unique trait where you can use the alt fire to shoot all the shots at once. So normally it has a mag of four, okay? I just have a mag mod on. You can just shoot it like this, but if you have at least four shots in mag, you can alt fire and it has a really big recoil and just bam, all four barrels shoot in one go. If you try to shoot while you have less than four mags or less than four shots in the mag, you try to alt fire, it's just going to reload the weapon instead. So... Let's look at the build. Right now, I've got Shotgun Vendetta. It's only R2. It would be better at rank 5. This is the best option, in my opinion, for sure. Reload speed is nice, and multi-shot is nice. So, the reason it got buffed is this mod right here. This is an augment from the Steel Meridian, I believe. Justice. Scattered Justice. It gets 200% multi-shot, and the Justice faction effect, or... Uh, Whatever the freaking things are called, right? Faction, syndicate, syndicate effect. That's what it is. So the syndicate effects means it when you fill the bar on the where the weapon is, you fill the affinity bar, it does a 25 meter blast explosion that gives 25% health back and increases your armor by 15% for 30 seconds. That's okay. We just care that it gives 200% multi-shot. That's a lot of multi-shot. So you could not equip this prior to the update that came out, like, what, three days ago? It was unable to be equipped on the weapon, but DE changed that. They said it's because they don't feel like it's too powerful nowadays. Back in the day, they said it was too much, but now they're like, it, it seems like it's in line with other weapons now if it gives it this. It's not the biggest damage increase of all time since we already have Galvanized Hell and Shock and Vendetta, but it's still nice. It does have a Riven Dispo of 3, so I definitely recommend getting a Riven if you really like the weapon, but it's not needed. So this is a Hunter Mumu build. Because we have Toxin Progenitor, we only need Prime Chilling Grasp, and we have Viral Damage. We are getting Galvanized Savvy for our base damage. It is additive, not multiplicative. So we are going to need to get stacks for our base damage to build up. We have Primed Ammo Stock so that our mag is doubled, allowing us to do two of the alt fire shots for big damage in a row. Multi-shot Galvanized from Galvanized Hell. Crit Chance from... Critical Deceleration. Did I say Ravage already? Well, yeah. Prime Ravage for crit damage. Scatter Justice for multi-shot. And obviously Hunter Mumu for Slash. Because otherwise our Slash procs are non-existent. 
So we'll spawn the enemies, and then I'm going to show that's, uh, yeah, no pets, and nothing on my Warframe that's going to affect my, oh wait, that's not true, wait, 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 if you know, you know, this is actually way too much damage, that's not a realistic build. There we go, now we have nothing that will affect my damage, much better, much better. So now we can show the damage of the weapon. First, we'll just be doing the primary fire. You can see that without high crit chance, because our crit chance is only at like, what, 63%, we aren't getting as many slash packs as what I would like. Though, it's still going to do some great damage. Like, look at that. It's already building up to be quite strong. This is the primary fire in no weapon, in no outsword, or outsword outside buffs other than the gun itself if you were to get a ribbon and get crit chance and get the crit chance to 100 percent that would make the like the the overall weapon crit chance 100 percent the damage and the consistency would consistency would be much much higher but it's already quite strong as is then if we alt fire this it's it's a this is a slash weapon okay we don't even get the slash procs it just does that much damage that time we did but m i find most of the time look dead almost dead as long as you're mildly lucky with crits wow i'm getting really unlucky with crits well earlier when i was using this exact same build i was one-shotting them like 80 percent of the time depending on your luck with crits you'll either one-shot these, these specific guys, at least, almost immediately, or they'll, at the very least, die out to the slash proc when they're almost dead. It does more than enough damage, to say the least. Now, you can go with a not slash build if you would prefer that instead. So we can go here, and we would swap out Hunter Munitions for Heat. Heat is a very decent option as well so we would go Ooh, i'm trying to think how the progenitor bonus is going to combine this just adds no no that does screw it up that's a bit of a problem because we don't want toxin here well my progenitor might be screwed up if you wanted to go viral heats i suppose we could try removing this that just puts gas on the weapon. I guess you could just remove that, right? That fixes the problem. So we would put on the Toxin Mod. Do I have an unranked Toxin Barrage? No, that's unfortunate, because we don't want our Viral weighting to be too high. But we can put on Cold. I don't have the 6060 Cold Mod, I know, cringe. But then we'll put that on, that on, and then Scattering Inferno. Actually, because we want higher Heats, Incendiary Coats. Now, if you were to go this, definitely go Heat Progenitor. Our Viral weighting is way too freaking high, but oh well, it is what it is. Now we will reset the enemies. Now, this is just direct damage. We're still going to need to build up our stacks, of course. Otherwise, our damage is non-existent. Waste. Because I suck again at headshots. There we go. Now our damage will be higher. Now, all your subsequent shots are obviously going to do more damage because Heat starts removing their armor. So, like, the first shot, not that much. See their armor going down from Heat, and then they just get decimated. And that's how it's going to be a lot of the time. You can rapidly shoot them. That does seem to kill pretty fast, too. Sometimes it won't immediately murder them, but... It's still going to do respectable damage, and if you have armor strip, this will actually be better... Since, well, you know, they won't have armor, so you don't need Slash to go through it. And you can see that it's still usually one-shotting them with the alt-fire mode just fine. This weapon also has just fine ammo economy, right? Or perfectly good ammo economy. I almost never run out of ammo. Which is a very nice change since a lot of weapons I've been using as of late have ammo problems, which can get annoying. Very, very good damage. This would easily be one-shotting if I had R5 Shotgun Vendetta. You could also go Deadhead if you're just getting headshots, if you, or if you don't have Vendetta, or Merciless if you're using the Slash build. Like I said before, I do like using Gas, but that's not going to really do much against these guys, so it's, it's hard to show. 
but yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's heck, it's been strong for a long time, and it's just even better now since, you know, scatter justice can be used. Definitely give it a shot. This is a very satisfying shotgun. Just look at it. Four build shotgun. This thing is beautiful. This is one of the coolest looking weapons in the game. Here, I'll show my Revenant fashion in case anyone wants to know. That's what it is. And that's it. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then leave a like and maybe subscribe for more random ass shit like this. Adios.